In this video, I'm going to show you the most powerful traits, the most powerful ways of being that are necessary in order to actually attract love. And I'm going to show you the blocks that might be there in your energy so that you can release them to finally allow the love that you want into your life. Now, one of the biggest things that blocks people from attracting love is that they keep looking for it. That's the issue. When we are looking for love on the outside, we are looking for something we are infusing and implying is not already there. Now, remember, you get in life a reflection of who you are being. What you think about is a surface level thing. And you could even go deeper than that to say what you believe is reflected back to you. You get in life a reflection of what you believe to be true. So what happens is sometimes people believe that they're not worthy of love. People may believe that love is actually outside of themselves. And what they do is because they believe that, they then are trying to search for it because they think it's on the outside. But when that happens, when you're looking for it, it's like you're wanting to experience the reflection in the mirror to smile at you by trying to change the reflection in the mirror. Now we know obviously that in order to change the reflection in the mirror, we must first smile in order for us to see that as a reflection. It's a lot easier than we think. We think we have to go up to the mirror. We have to try to change it. There's a lot of resistance and resistance also blocks love. When instead, if you just loosen up and smile, all of a sudden there's a version of you that is smiling back. That is because the way reality works is we get in life a direct reflection of who we are being. What energy are, what do we believe to be true about ourselves? So when people are looking for a long time, I was looking and I, there was also like childhood energy that was alive where I was addicted to similar childhood energy, the familiar emotions of feeling not good enough, the familiar emotion and energies of looking for validation on the outside, looking for approval on the outside. And guess what that resulted in? Looking for it meant I lacked it. And because I lacked it, I could not experience it. Now I'm going to share with you my journey of attracting love and also tapping into like releasing non-attached magnetic energy. And to do so, this little map right here shows you something that's called the magnetic activation process, the map. This is the map of the magnetic activation process for unleashing non-attached magnetic energy. And also you can apply this towards not only attracting love, you can apply this towards pretty much every area of your life, whether it's abundance, living your purpose full time, whatever. This is a process of transformation. Now you'll see that there's two stick figures here. We have that of this version of you. You think, feel, and act. Our personality, as Joe Dispenza says, is we get in life a reflection of, um, how we think, feel, and act is our personality, also a way that we are being, a way that we're showing up in the world. Now, the thing is, is most of who, how we think, feel, and act has been on autopilot, and we're addicted to the familiar emotions of our past. We're addicted to the, um, we may have felt like we had a parent that was emotionally unavailable. Even though it's not enjoyable, it's familiar emotion. So then we attract partners that are emotionally unavailable, and that's because it feels familiar, it feels normal. So the process of transformation is becoming aware of this version of you, letting go of the stories, letting go of the limiting beliefs by becoming aware of them because 90% of all transformation is awareness, letting them go and then making a new choice about who you are and then being this new version of you. Now, the, you literally perceive of new probabilities and new potentials, the more you are being this new version of you. So think about it. We have this identity lock around us, how we see ourselves, And a lot of times we're addicted to similar emotions. So anger, guilt, fear, shame. Until we release these emotions, this energy, we're not going to be magnetic because we, we have this resistant energy within our field. Irresistible energy is void of resistance. And the more you let go of your own insecurities, the more you let go and you accept yourself, the more you own who you are, the more you let go of that energy, the more you could be this new version of you. Now you experience new probabilities and new synchronicities when you get into the unknown. So one of the parts of attracting love and one of the most important things to realize is if what has been known is feelings of not being enough, if what has been known is feelings of anger and guilt towards your mom or your dad or siblings, 
then that energy is active and you're going to project that onto the people that you attract. You're going to project that onto your partners. So what you want to do is you want to become aware of this energy. I had to become aware of a people pleasing pattern that I had. I had to become aware of a rescuer dynamic where I had, where I felt like everyone, whoever I was dating for me to become indispensable to the person I was dating, I'd have to help them. I'd have to try to fix them, which also is implying that there's something wrong with them. And it would really depolarize the magnetism because I'm trying to fix, I'm trying to be a coach to somebody else, trying to help them with their business. All these things that imbalances out relationships. And what happened is that energy was active until I became aware of it. Then I became aware, hey, I'm trying to please other people because I'm trying to get my own needs met. That comes from the abandonment mood. We'll talk about that in a minute. I became aware that there were dynamics where I wasn't being my true masculine self because I was trying to please. It's a toxic masculine trait when you're trying to please. And it, pleasing is like a form of manipulation. It's something else you're going to have to let go of if you want to attract real love and not something that's just based on manipulation. Manipulation is when it's saying, okay, I'm going to give, be nice to you, people pleaser. I'm going to be nice to you and in exchange you're going to give me validation or approval. I'm going to fix you and I'm going to be indispensable and you're not going to leave me. I'm going to, um, it's like, it's, it's conditionality is really what it is. And the belief there deep down is that love is conditional. So a lot of times people pleasers are born from parent pleasers. They had to please their parents growing up in order to receive love. They had to get straight A's, tuck in their shirt. I had to tuck in my shirt, comb back my hair. And that was a part of uh, what I needed to do in order to be loved or accepted. Now, one of the things to become aware about this though, is once you become aware of this pattern, you can then say, wait, do I continue to choose to live in it? And then you can choose to let it go if you don't want to continue to live in that pattern. Because you attract into your life a reflection of not just who you're being, but the, the masculine or feminine energy dynamic that you embody. So if you have somebody that's being very feminine, it, they're not going to attract somebody that is masculine. Does that make sense? So unless that person is being feminine, then they'll attract the masculine. But if they're being more masculine, they're going to attract a more feminine person. So the key is really get into your own core of your own polarity to become aware of what you really intend for. But in order to attract that, you have to embody the opposite polarity of it. So for me to attract somebody feminine, I had to start getting into my own masculine energy. I had to let go of the people pleasing. I had to let go of the, uh, the nice guy syndrome by becoming aware of it, letting it go, and then stepping into the unknown. Now, part of this is well meant to, for me to experience the new probabilities and the new synchronicities. What I had to do, and you can apply this towards any area of your life, I had to tune to this version of me using the power of meditation and action. Those are the two things. Meditation allows you to tap into your theta state, your subconscious mind. And when you're in your subconscious mind, that is where you can influence your beliefs about yourself. That's where you can download like a new energy. And that was something that I had to learn to do. I had to get to that core energy and I had to do that. You do in meditation, uh, maybe once a day, I would meditate 10, 20 minutes in the morning, 10, 20 minutes at night, more observing my thoughts. But then what I would do is I would literally feel it as if it exists now, as if that is the version of me that I am. Because the, where a lot of people get tied up is they focus on what they want. They think better thoughts. But the thing to really think about is who do I have to become to have that reality as a natural reflection? So this is what I did for becoming a quote unquote YouTuber back in 2017. I identified and used my imagination to perceive and to feel as if I was a full-time YouTuber. And I realized that version of me was making daily videos on YouTube. So I decided to energetically, not only would I meditate and feel as if I was already that identity of being a YouTuber, but I would back that up with action. I made a video every single day on YouTube, no matter what. And I did that for years, but within three, three to six months, I went full-time on YouTube because I was being a full-time YouTuber. So don't focus on what you want. Don't focus on just the thoughts. Focus on who you have to become. Who do you have to become to attract love? Well, you probably have to let go of some things. I'd say you probably have to let go of the unworthiness. You probably also have to become the star of your own movie. A lot of times people have trouble setting love because they're trying to become the cameo in someone else's movie instead of being the star of their own movie, which means being in your own frame. Some of the other things I had to let go of is I had to let go of the belief I wasn't worthy. 
I let go of the stories that I had about women. I had stories that women tried to control me because my ex-stepmom was so controlling. I had stories that said uh, life isn't fair. I can't always get what I want. I have to go through a lot of pain. These stories I had to become aware of and let go of. The abandonment wound is probably one of the most powerful ones to let go of to really attract love. Because the abandonment wound says people leave me. I'm not worthy. People leave me. And then what you'll do is if you don't let that go, you'll either attract people that aren't emotionally present or you'll attract people that are with you and then leave you because it's reflecting back the belief that says there's something wrong with me. People leave me. So curing this, so curing it is by becoming aware of it and doing meditations that literally unfamiliarize this version of you where you can let it go and let go of the heart walls that you have around your heart, which are normally protective mechanisms. And then the goal, the goal is to be this version of you using the power of meditation, also something called the frame technique, getting in your own frame of reality, feeling safe inside of your own body, getting clear as to what your vision is for your life. That's when you start becoming the star of your own movie, living by your own set of values. I had to let go of the values of living by that of people's approval and validation and start living by authenticity and vulnerability. Power of vulnerability is the power to get into the unknown, to express your real heart, to show someone, it takes vulnerability to go up to someone and say, hey, I'm attracted to you. Would you like to go out sometime? It takes vulnerability to say, hey, I'm starting to have, I have feelings for you. And when you're a nice guy, people pleaser, or you're in this little familiar box, you may not actually express that. And it keeps you in this mode of not really being the real you. And the key to this is activating it and making the choice to be it. That's when you can really let in and you can really uh, unleash your heart energy. But it will require you to make a couple choices to let go of the old, let in the new, let go of the familiar, let in the unknown, be the unknown, because you get in life a direct reflection of who you are being, how you are showing up, unleashing your true heart energy. So the magnetic activation process is a step-by-step -step process that shows you exactly how to go through this process. Now, if you wanna learn step-by-step -step how to go through the magnetic activation process and you want a training video that shows you exactly how to do that, it's completely free, go to aarondowdy.com slash map or click the link below, learn the map process and step-by-step -step how to go through it because you will then activate this version of you and unleash non-attached magnetic energy so that you can either create your dream life, attract love, whatever you want. Now, also there's a video right here that if you want someone to commit to you, this is exactly what you do. This will build upon the concepts we talked in this video. Watch this video right here. There's one simple thing that if you do, will make your energy more irresistible than ever before. It will get people to literally see your own value